Where you are today is the result of about eight weeks of conversation uh, and relationship building and community building, our participants performing with Street Symphony through Music for Change. I believe that this is the most important work that Street Symphony gets to do in this community. We've been part of the Skid Row community for about eight years now, but we've never had a conversation that has involved such intentional clinical guidance. And so with that, I'd like to bring up Mick, who's going to share some of his work with us. People that know me, they know me as Mickey. And uh, I feel real fortunate today because six months ago, I was sitting within prison, um, doing a lot of writing in my cell, reflecting, and it shows up in a lot of my poetry. And I'm feeling real fortunate to be amongst uh, all of you guys and uh, being able to share my piece. I become so comfortable within that madness. It was as if I had gone to college. In the dysfunction, I had gotten a degree. My name's Corey, I'm recently released. I've been out roughly four months. All right. I am a ex-lifer. I'm gonna be doing a poem that I wrote. It's called Senses of Addiction. I struggled with addiction for 20 years of my life. Corey and I have uh, collaborated on this project a couple weeks ago, I offered a piece of music called Sep Papillon, which translates to Seven Butterflies. And we talked about how a butterfly, in order to transform from a caterpillar to a butterfly, literally needs to engouge itself, eat itself up inside a cocoon, and to be, to be reborn as a butterfly. And we, we, we talked about topics of the redemption and healing in that kind of context. Um, afterwards, Corey came up to me and said, I want to set my poems to this music. And listening to his words has actually completely shifted and changed the way I view this piece and view myself as a cellist. So I want to thank Corey for letting me share this moment with him. It's the scent of vinegar only I can smell. I can see my reflection in the steel. With each cut, the pain seeps away. I went to prison for 30 years and 44 days. Fortunately, at the same time, the California Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation was coming on board with some rehabilitative programs. I took full advantage of that. As I, as I say, a light came on for me and I followed that light. And down the via, in Dolorosa, in Jerusalem, that day. And down the via, in Dolorosa, called the way of suffering. Like a lamb, came the Messiah. If someone else agrees or disagrees, that means that I concern me. Because this ain't about no one else. It's about me setting my own mind, heart, body free. And though I've used other unhealthy methods in the past, today, I just choose to use poetry. This is a place to transition, not just from a cell to a room to a, an apartment somewhere, but to transition from who you were and undo the monster that you had become and step up and take your divine and rightful place and move into the future with dignity. For that, I am grateful. 